guys, welcome back to Behind the Scenes at the RC Shop here in the Creepy Crawler's Garage. Um, as you guys probably have noticed by the lack of videos, I have again been stuck out of town working, but I am now back in town, so I wanna give you guys an update of what's going on. Um, so obviously we're still finishing up the interior of the Highway 1 Project uh, Marlin Crawler. Um, but before we get to that, I was gonna give you guys an update on some of the other projects that you should be seeing coming up or that you will be seeing coming up shortly. Um, the first one that I'm kind of excited about uh, because I haven't got to work on a car like this in a while is I picked up a Fortec uh, 2.0, the Traxxas Fortec uh, 2.0 chassis, um, which comes uh, ready built, of course. This is basically, it's brushless. You know, it's a 70 mile per hour car right out of the box. Uh, I've got a, I went ahead and got, I broke down as much as I hate doing. I went, uh, broke down and bought a three cell Traxxas battery along with the charger just to keep it all Traxxas. I didn't want to, I didn't want to cut and, wet, uh, and, and solder. Uh, so just leaving it all Traxxas. So it's got a three cell. It should do about 70 miles per hour out of the box, but that's not really why I got it. What I, the reason I did get it is it's been a long time since I've painted a Lexan body. As you guys know, with uh, the, the, the Marlin Crawler, the Highway 1 Project, the shop truck, all this other stuff I've done so far on the channel has all been hard body. Um, I used to paint tons and tons and tons of Lexan bodies, so I was kind of excited uh, to do that. And, and was the excuse as to why I bought this car, I guess you could say, was to have the opportunity to paint up this GT40 or this, not GT40, but I'm, it's a Ford GT body that I'm gonna paint up like the uh, Golf GT40, the old GT40 body. Um, in fact, I've got the paint, you can see the paint scheme here. Here's the Golf colors, and then of course black, and then uh, we'll do the decals and whatnot also. So I'm kind of excited about that, but that'll be coming up on, uh, on the channel soon. Uh, also, I wanted to give a bit of a shout out. I was out in um, Southern California working. Um, I happened to be watching YouTube as I usually do. I caught a video, just happened to catch a, a review video that I was watching and at the end they said, eh, and our shop's located in Long Beach. So you know what? I jumped over and, and went through the shop and it was a great experience. And so guys, it was, uh, uh, the RC Street Shop is what it's called. It's in Long Beach, California. I can't recommend more if you're either in Long Beach or just in Southern California to go stop by and see these guys. Uh, what was really cool, I was able to pick up a bunch of scale stuff from the truck. This shop actually had stuff like this, like a like a, a little Gojo uh, canister with the, you know, the soap and whatnot. They had this stuff hanging on the wall for sale. I've never been to an RC shop where they had scale items and this was the pro line one of the pro line sets with the uh the keg and propane and all that they had these are 3d printed items um which was a yeti you know it's like a yeti cooler i guess you can see it here it's actually pretty pretty nice it'll open pretty cool i think uh, but this stuff is hanging on the wall at their shop so if you're into the scale garage type stuff if you're into just rc they're extremely helpful um and very very knowledgeable uh, also check out their YouTube channel. They have it's RC Street Shop. It's uh, they have a YouTube channel you can you can check out too, where they do good reviews and whatnot. Um, so check that out. So I was I just was totally excited to uh, to kind of find a shop that was that was uh, of this caliber, I guess. Right. In fact, it was I don't know maybe two miles down the street from my hotel. It was I couldn't believe it. Didn't even know it was there until I, I caught it on YouTube. So anyways, I wanted to update you on that. And then what's really going on with the channel, of course is finishing up the Highway 1 project. Um, last episode y'all saw that I was able to do, we, we started working on the interior. I don't know if you can see the seats inside here. And then we've got a dash and whatnot built in and the floorboards and all that. Now, so I uh, I got home and I had a, uh, I had something in the mailbox that I that was sent to me, which was, is pretty cool. So it came from the, the scale mob uh, scalers. In fact, it had a, which I'll be hanging this up in the in the shop here. This will go on the wall with the rest of my banners. Um, but what they sent for the Highway One project is their Mob Audio. Um, so basically, we've got this controller unit and then two speakers. Now this is totally. I mean, it's. I mean, it's totally cool. So the, all these these casings and whatnot are three. You can tell are three D printed. The boxes for the little 
Uh, they're probably one, one and a quarter inch speakers or so, one inch speakers, I would think they are. Um, this is all, and it's pretty cool. It's got their, their name on it and stuff. This is all 3D printed. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, but here's the, uh, here's the catch. So, you know, we've been building the interior for this truck. These are not exactly small items. Um, so we've got a challenge in front of us, uh, cause we, obviously we want to integrate this into the truck. So if there's a sound kit in the truck, we want to have, you know, uh, this was sent by, 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 uh, the scale mob scalers, uh, for the highway one guys. I'm going to make sure and get this put in the truck. So I've got to figure out how we're going to incorporate this. And of course all this and the wiring into the truck and keeping it. Cause I don't want, again, we're trying to keep this scale and keep it as close to the actual Mueller marlin crawler as possible so how are we going to integrate this in uh, I, I don't know yet to be honest with you i have a feeling this will probably go under the hood and then i'm thinking we just build these in as speaker I tried i don't think they're going to fit the problem i wanted to try to maybe build these in we might have to move the battery maybe we'll have to go to us i don't know uh, but I thought maybe we would build these in as speaker boxes behind the, the speakers there, but they're awfully big. I don't know if that's going to squeeze in behind, you know, if we can get it to fit in behind uh, or in front of the bed, but behind the seats we've already got in. Um, if that doesn't work, we might have to find a way, uh, but I sure hate to have open speakers facing. You can see I've, I've, I've really been thinking about this and I'm not sure how we're going to do it, but we're going to make it happen. Maybe they, they might end up even just going under the hood. I'm not sure yet. But that's uh, that's a good bit of speaker we got to get to fit into this uh, into this pretty tight space already. But I'm I'm excited about the challenge and to get it done. So but, and we will get that done. So look for that. Uh, in fact, I'll get that done this week because that'll be I'll go along with finishing up the interior of the truck, which will get done this week, and then. We've about got this done so we can move on to other projects and get this back to the Highway 1 guys where they can uh, enjoy it for themselves. Um, so anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you the update, what's going on, why you haven't seen videos in a while. I'm, you know, I'm trying. Unfortunately, uh, as always, work gets in the way sometimes. So yeah, so this is what's going on with the Highway 1 project, what future projects are looking like for the garage. Uh, I will be trying to get more episodes out. Um, with, uh, I'm gonna try to backlog some footage so that when I do have to go out of town and work, I'll ho hopefully have footage already already recorded that I can get out to you guys. I'm also gonna try to take the episodes, the RC shop episodes, that is the, the, the full blown RC shop episodes to a uh, more, a longer format setting. Um, and it looks like the battery on my camera is about to run out, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and go uh, and get this done. Uh, so yeah, I wanna go to a 30 minute format. Hopefully I'll be able to do that, guys. Um, but thanks for joining me. Uh, watch for more to come. Always hit that subscribe button if you're not, you're not subscribing already. Uh, if you would, hit the like and, and leave comments. That really helps me in the YouTube, alg YouTube algorithms. But thanks for joining me, guys. Before my battery runs out, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.